Hello, and welcome to our uh, probably long forgotten video series, uh, Modern Modding Manners. A series where we take a look at just a handful of house mods from around the lands of Arwind. Our last episode was uh, almost exactly a year ago, and uh, we're going to try and get this series back on a regular schedule with a new episode every month, though uh, not that many of you will care, I imagine. Uh, this has never been a particularly popular video series, but oh well. In the off chance that you're looking for just some more house mods, uh, you might find it useful. But anyway, for today's episode, we're taking a look back and just back in time and revisiting uh, some of the house mods that we originally showcased way back in 2015, including a variety of homes from the SK and Isles that are still worth, you know, taking a look at here today. And as always, the down links and timestamps are just uh, down below, so uh, let's go ahead and begin with the Wanderer's Lodge by the Wanderer. And now, this is a Yamon that uh, we first showcased way back in January of 2015. I think for the uh, 25th episode of Morrowind Modding Showcases, so, uh, you know, it's about high time that we just we revisit it and uh, just go over a bit about what it does again. And uh, basically, uh, this mod adds a new home that you can purchase for about 35,000 gold in one of three uh, different locations. Uh, Sidonine, Ebonheart, or Vivek, uh, you know, depending on uh, which option you have installed. And uh, obviously, you know, we're taking a look at the Vivek location just uh, here today. Uh, it's my, you know, my personal favorite, honestly. It's just uh, particularly scenic, you know, especially with distant land and the tower built mainland. But in any event, uh, this is just a rather unique looking uh, three story abode uh, located on a private and a mostly artificial island, uh, just out in the bay, next to, uh, you know, Vivek here. And, uh, yes, all three options of this home are just, you know, located out over water, uh, which means they should, uh, theoretically, be compatible with most of the mods out there, including uh, Moron du Beuf, since uh, they make no, you know, real changes to the uh, landscape here. But anyway, this is just a fairly massive home, uh, just going by the exterior here. And uh, going inside, uh, you'll find a fairly lavish and sizable manor to call your own. And uh, we're going to uh, start things out with just, uh, you know, the first level here. And uh, down here, you'll find a guest bedroom, a cozy dining room with a roaring fire, and a bit of storage. But uh, going on upstairs, uh, just to the mid-level of this abode, and you'll discover an alchemy lab with a fair bit of alchemical equipment and uh, plenty of storage for, uh, you know, ingredients, uh, including some uh, labeled containers here. Uh, there's also a library and a study, as you can see here, with a handful of bookshelves and bookcases, and uh, there's also a mixed uh, display hall and a uh, master lounge off to the side here. And where you'll find a few tables and chests to, uh, you know, store your items. Uh, some more bookcases, a roaring fire with just an adequate amount of a uh, seating nearby, and a, a tea kettle with a, a few cups and saucers for you to take a hot cuppa, uh, you know, just at the end of a long day out adventuring. But anyway, up on the uh, top floor, uh, you'll find a fairly modest sized uh, display hall, including uh, plenty of places to, uh, you know, show off your loot, or any other items that you might want to put out here. And, uh, finally, we have the master bedroom, with a private lounge, a roaring fireplace, a just a fair number of uh, drawers and closets for you to, uh, you know, stuff your clothing into. And, of course, a, a master bed, as you can just, uh, you know, see here. Uh, this is, again, a fairly large house, and... One that definitely comes with a lot of creature comforts, uh, not to mention a number of scenic views, but uh, to just give a quick overview of everything you'll find here, uh, this home comes with an alchemy lab, uh, lots of storage and display space, a guest bedroom, uh, two additional uh, storage towers that uh, we didn't even show off here, a sizable master bedroom, a library, and a cozy lounge, 
Uh, or for the just the low low price of uh, 35,000 gold. Uh, also, there's a fairly decent uh, commute to Vivek, though it might take you a minute or two to just, uh, you know, to get into the city proper. But anyway, uh, all in all, this is just a finer bone uh, located in the inner sea that's uh, definitely worth, you know, calling your own. Uh, next up, uh, we're taking a look at uh, Karanj Manor by reflection. And I do apologize if I just, if I mis, uh, you know, pronounce the uh, name there. I'm not entirely sure, you know, how you pronounce Karanj. Uh, but anyway, uh, this is just a bit of an older mod, uh, first released in uh, 2004 and added to the PES Hall of Fame in 2006. Uh, we actually uh, first showcased this uh, way back in February of 2015, I think as part of the Top 10 uh, Morrowind Castle Mods video, though I can't uh, really say for sure that was, uh, you know, over six years ago, and my memory just isn't what it used to be. Uh, but in any event, uh, this mod just adds a new Imperial Star Keep to the outskirts of Saran. But uh, there's uh, not really a whole lot to see on the exterior, so uh, let's just head on inside. And to right away, this home opens up into the main display hall, uh, where you'll find a, a number of cases to just, uh, you know, stuff your loot into. And uh, not to mention uh, some armor display mannequins that you can use here. But uh, moving on, uh, downstairs you'll find an alchemy lab including uh, labeled ingredient containers for uh, pretty much every ingredient in the uh, base game, as well as some basic alchemical equipment. Uh, nothing too fancy, I think this is mostly just a journeyman level stuff here. Uh, but across the hall, you'll find the uh, library, uh, which uh, isn't really much of a library, so much as, you know, it is a room full of empty bookshelves uh, for you to uh, fill up with books uh, that you've collected on your adventures, or uh, you know, uh, you could just use this room uh, to just uh, store some more loot, uh, whatever works best for you. Now, just uh, moving on, uh, you'll of course find a, a beautiful and, uh, dare I say, rather cozy master bedroom, uh, complete with a private dining area that can, uh, you know, seat quite a few, a, a breakfast nook, a, a cupboard for your dishes, a, a master bed, and, uh, you know, just a few drawers and closets for your, uh, you know, everyday clothing. And uh, this really is just a really nice looking uh, set of chambers. And uh, just real quick, uh, uh, you know, this home uh, does come with a kitchen that you can use, including an oven, uh, some tables to prep food, and of course, just a bit more storage. Uh, overall, this is just an incredibly cozy Imperial Star Bone for you to call your own. And, like many of Reflections mods, it is actually based on a real, you know, world location, as you'll find with a history book included with the mod here. But, uh, anyway, this is just a nice, free home, with plenty of storage, uh, tons of display space, a teleport ring, uh, so you can instantly get back home at any time, and a short commute to the uh, markets of Saran. Uh, if you're looking for just a more you know, a cozy uh, castle-like abode. Uh, this is a pretty good one to, uh, you know, check out here. Uh, finally, for our last house mod, uh, we're taking a look at Amaya Lodge by uh, Dream Bliss, uh, formerly known as Death Bliss. Uh, this is just another older mod, uh, first released in, I think, uh, 2003, and we last showcased it way back in uh, January of 2015 for... I think episode 24 of uh, Morrowind Morning Showcases, but uh, since we last took a look at it, uh, the author has returned to the community and uh, re-uploaded this mod uh, to the Nexus, so, you know, what better time to just, uh, you know, revisit it here. Anyway, uh, this mod adds a new home to the outskirts of Legiad, uh, just along uh, Lake Amaya, which feels a little obvious uh, given the name here, but uh, in any event, uh, this is a sort of Imperial Nordic style boat with a fairly uh, scenic location, including uh, some gardens just around the sides and a deck out back with uh, some outdoor dining and amazing views of Lake Amaya. But, uh, well, just uh, going on inside, I have to say that Amaya Lodge has 
Uh, one of the more interesting and certainly unique interior designs I've seen in House Mod. Oh, with a large open air interior that, you know, just sort of connects everything here, adding almost a sense of verticality to this interior. And uh, this open air design is just, it's uh, probably my favorite part of a May Lodge. Uh, you know, just from a design perspective, it's just, it's really unique and, you know, kind of draws you in. But anyway, uh, taking a look at uh, some of the rooms here, uh, you'll find a sort of library off to one side, uh, with the master bedroom just across the main chambers here, with a roaring fireplace in the corner, and uh, the dining room in the center, just, you know, sort of in the middle of everything. Up on the second floor, you'll find the display hall, with a number of shelves and tables for you to use, and also the alchemy lab, uh, with a set of uh, master's equipment, which uh, might be a bit overpowering, and uh, there's also some room for you to store your ingredients and uh, potions and whatnot. Uh, but uh, anyway, uh, lastly, just uh, going downstairs into the uh, basement, uh, you'll find a fairly large uh, display hall, along with a number of uh, side rooms that you can use uh, for storage, and uh, there's really quite a bit of space down here, at handle almost anything that you might have, uh, making this a, a fairly modest sized house to, you know, call your own. But anyway, uh, overall, uh, this is just a, a pretty scenic home along Lake Amea, with uh, some great views, a, a decidedly unique and interesting design, uh, tons of storage, an alchemy lab, and uh, plenty of room to just show off your loot. It is a bit of just an older mod, and, you know, that could be a bit of an issue, but it still holds up fairly well today, and is certainly worth checking out if you're looking for just a new home near Plesiad. But anyway, uh, that's it uh, for today, so as always, you know, thanks for watching, stay safe, and I'll just, I'll uh, see you all next time.